Hey, I'm Charles with Rocky Mountain ATVMC, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install the Tusk UTV Polycarb rear window on your Polaris Razor Pro R4. Now, this is going to help keep dust, wind, and other elements out of the cab. It's also scratch resistant, so it stays looking good. It's easy to install, so let's go ahead and get started. To start out, we have a blanket on our workbench. We're setting the rear window on that so it doesn't get scratched up. And with this, you want to start out by removing the protective film from both sides. We've already done that. And we've also applied our foam tape to this top edge. So the top one's going to be the 33 inch piece. You're going to use your scissors to trim it in between where these mounting locations are. And that way you can fit a clamp right there. Now I'm going to flip the rear window around. You're going to take the 15 inch piece of foam tape. You're going to go across the bottom and then you need to punch a hole. There's going to be two mounting locations right here. You can see those from the inside of the window, but you can use a bolt or a pick. You just want to punch through those. And then we have the two 17 inch pieces of flap seal. When you install this, you want the seal to face the inside of the window. So this side that is facing up right now, that's the outside. And as you install this, if it fits loose at any point, you can simply squeeze this together for a tighter fit. I'm just going to start in this corner right here, work my way around. The other thing you can do, if it's kind of hard to press into place, you can use a soft face mallet or dead blow hammer, and that's going to tap right on. We'll do the same thing on the other side. Next, we're going to move on to the side wings. I just want to point out, I have these rubber gloves on to prevent getting fingerprints all over these. So with that being said, we're going to start out with the nine and a half inch flap trim. And you're going to start right in this corner right here and wrap it around same way we did on the rear window. Then we have the 33 inch piece of bulb seal. And we're going to start at this top corner up here and work our way all the way around. And the bulb seal is going to be facing the outside of the machine. So this is going to sit against the roll cage. And if you have any extra length of bulb seal, you can trim that off with some side cutters. Next, we're gonna take the eight inch pieces of foam tape. You're gonna go on the top of this outside flange right here. And again, make sure you clear the mounting holes. You can use a bolt to make sure those are cleared out. Then you can take your 14 inch piece of foam tape. You're gonna to have to cut it in two. So you have one section here and one just below it on this front side flange. And then again, clear out all of those bolt mounting locations. So once you have one done, go ahead and do those same steps to the other side wing. This is what it should look like when you are done. Now we're gonna take them over to the machine. Now over at the machine, we're gonna start by installing the loop clamps. So with these, you want the flat side, that's gonna be facing in towards the cab and the open side of each clamp is gonna be facing the back of the machine. We're gonna start at the back on this roll cage. So right on the bottom, we have one here. You wanna to try to pinch this tight. It's gonna help you in a later step. And then we have one at this top corner. And then you've got three across the top. And you can dry fit that rear window to find out exactly where these top clamps need to be. Next, we're gonna use a T40 Torx bit to remove the two screws that go in between the seat belt mounts. You will not be reusing these screws. Next, we can install the rear window from the inside of the cab. It might be nice to have a friend help you do this. And we're gonna start with the top three loop clamps. We're gonna take the M6 bolts by 25 millimeters. We're gonna use an M6 washer on each one. We'll go through the rear window from the inside through both sections of the clamp, and then we've got the nylock nut on top. Now we're gonna take the two longer bolts in the kit, or the M6 by 30 millimeter button head bolts, install a washer onto each one, and you're gonna thread those into the two bottom mounts for the rear window, 
and all this hardware we're leaving loose until one of the final steps. Now for the wings, we're gonna start on the driver's side and that is gonna be the one that has the Tusk logo. We're gonna come from the inside of the cab. We're gonna set this in place and you're gonna line it up with the corner on the rear window. As you set this in place, just pay attention to these clamps. Make sure you're not scratching that wing up. And then we're gonna take the four hole washer plate we're gonna use the M6 by 25 millimeter button head bolts. We're gonna go through that, through the rear window, through the wing, and then we've got another four hole washer plate on the inside, followed by the nylock nuts. Now on the top, we're doing the same thing with the two hole washer plates. Now for the loop clamps, we're using the 25 millimeter bolts again. We've got an M6 washer on there. Coming from the inside, go through both sections of the clamp and then the nylock nut on the outside. Now we can do those same steps on the passenger side wing. And once you have everything loosely installed, you can go back through and make adjustments for the best fitment and then tighten all of the hardware down. And when you tighten this down, you don't wanna crank on it. You don't wanna crack anything. You just need to make sure it's snugged up. That's it for installing the Tusk UTV Polycarb rear window on your Polaris Razor Pro R4. If you have any questions about the install process, leave those down in the comments. And hey, if you need to pick one of these up, you can find them on our website. Just click the link in the description below. We offer free shipping on orders over $75. So take advantage of that. And if you want to see more helpful content like this, subscribe to our channel. I'm Charles with Rocky Mountain ATVMC. Thanks for watching.